Hi everyone. Uh, in today's lecture, we are going to see what is uh, frequency modulation and demodulation using the MATLAB. So before going to uh, the code of uh, frequency modulation and demodulation, so first of all, I will see what is the frequency modulation definition. And later on, we'll see what is the equation we use for the frequency modulation and demodulation. Then we proceed with the code, how to implement the frequency modulation using MATLAB. Now, by definition, if you look into the definition of your frequency modulation, so generally, so the amplitude modulation, the amplitude of your carrier wave varies. So as we have seen uh, in the amplitude modulation and uh, DSBSC or uh, SSB, what we have done is the amplitude of the carrier is varied in accordance with the message signal or the modulating signal. Now, whereas what we are doing in your frequency modulation means uh, in the frequency modulation, the frequency of the carrier wave it varies in accordance with the instantaneous amplitude of your modulating signal. So in frequency modulation, we are going to vary the frequency of your carrier in accordance with your amplitude of your message signal. So when we are varying the frequency of the carrier, so what about the amplitude and phase of the carrier? So in the frequency modulation, the amplitude and phase of the carrier uh, remains constant. So that is the major difference between your amplitude modulation and your frequency modulation. So in frequency modulation, the frequency of the carrier is going to be varied with the instantaneous amplitude of your message signal. And the carrier amplitude and phase are uh, kept constant. So now let us see uh, further. So how your frequency modulated looks like. So if you look at the figure, so this is the frequency modulated wave. So when the frequency modulation is done, somewhere you can see here there is something. The frequency of the carrier is uh, <clears throat> what we say <clears throat> more, and whereas the frequency of the carrier is less here. So how this is going to happen? So as we have said that the frequency of the carrier is going to be varied in accordance with your message signal. So the modulated wave increases, the frequency of the modulated wave increases when the amplitude of the modulating signal or message signal increases. That means, uh, let us take here, if you have your modulating signal like this, let us see. So this is your modulating signal. So when the amplitude is maximum, when the amplitude is maximum or when the amplitude is increasing like this, so the frequency will increase. The frequency will increase. The frequency increases like this. And when the amplitude is minimum, that means here it is minimum. So from this point to this point, so the frequency of the modulating uh, carrier wave will be less. So this is how it is going to store the information uh, in the frequency modulation. So similarly, the frequency of the modulated wave decreases when the amplitude of the modulating signal decreases. This is how we are going to uh, modulate the given uh, carrier, uh, carrier wave in accordance with your uh, modul modulating signal. So uh, we'll see mathematically how it is going to happen and what is the standard equation we have. So here, the modulating signal. So as we know that we want a message signal, M of T, and a carrier signal, uh, C of T, where the carrier signal is given by uh, C of T is equals to AC cos of 2 pi FCT. So when we do the frequency modulation, that is S of T is equals to, we are going to get AC into cos of 2 pi FCT plus, plus beta into sine 2 pi FMT. So this is what the standard equation, what uh, we have for the frequency modulation. So uh, in the next lectures, we will be seeing how to get this equation and what is the frequency modulation. And here, this beta represents your modulation index, which is nothing but del F by your FM. That is nothing but change in the frequency to that of your frequency of your modulating signal. So which is nothing but KF into AM by 
and see uh, how to implement the frequency modulation and demodulation using the MATLAB. So as we know that we need to uh, clear all the windows and close all the windows and clear the uh, information uh, in the program on the uh, window. So after that, what are the parameters what we require for uh, doing the frequency modulation is to define the time vector, we require a sampling frequency. So here I have taken it as uh, 10,000 Hertz and your amplitude of your carrier I have defined as one volt and amplitude of your message signal as one amp, uh, one volt and frequency of your modulating signal that is message signal is 35 Hertz and uh, your frequency of carrier is 500 Hertz. And as we have seen in the previous equation, we have an modulation index that is beta is equals to 10. And we are defining uh, here the time period that is t is equals to 0 is to 0 0.1 into fs by F, uh, fs, which is nothing but your time vector. Once all the parameters are defined, then we need to uh, go for the generation of the message signal, generation of the carrier signal, generation of your frequency modulation and demodulation signals. Okay, so to make our equations very simple, what I'm doing here is I'm defining the angular frequency of your carrier, angular frequency of your carrier as two pi FCT. So if you don't want to define this one directly, you can write it uh, here in place of your, uh, sorry, in place of your carrier uh, frequency or carrier wave, directly you can represent two pi FCT. So to make my equations very simple, I'm defining the angular frequency of your carrier wave and angular frequency of your message signal, uh, WM is equals to two pi FM. So instead of your WM directly, you can write it here, uh, two pi uh, FM also, okay? So now, first what we are going to do is we want to generate your message signal. So to generate your message signal, as we know that m of t is equals to am into cos of 2 pi fmt as we have defined the angular frequency. So I'm writing it as am into cos of w uh, m into t. So this is the equation for your message signal where I'm plotting that one in 4 comma 1 comma 1. That means I'm taking a matrix of 4 comma 1, uh, 4 comma 1, that is which is having four rows and one column in that the first place I'm going to define my uh, message signal. So when I execute it, I will get uh, the message signal in the first row like this, like this. Okay. So plot t comma m underscore t. That is nothing but you are going to plot your message signal and a title. So this will display modulating or message signal which is having a frequency of your thirty five hertz. Once the generation of message signal is completed, then I'll generate the carrier wave. So carrier wave is defined as C of T or C underscore T is equals to AC into cos of W C into T. So already we have defined that WC as two pi FCT. So that's why uh, to make my equation simple, I'm writing here WC into T. So otherwise you can write it as two pi FCT, uh, two pi FCT. And where I'm plotting this one is four comma one comma two, that means in the second row, I am going to plot my carrier signal. So which is having a 500 Hertz and plot a T comma C of T that will represent your, we are plotting a carrier signal. So title carrier signal with FM or sorry, this is FC. FC is equals to 500 Hertz. This will be displayed under your uh, carrier wave to show that my carrier wave is having a a 500 hertz that is a title if it is optional okay now let us proceed uh, to generate uh, the frequency modulated wave so as we have said uh, that the frequency modulated wave standard equation is uh, ac into cos of 2 pi fct plus beta into sine 2 pi fmt so uh, we have, as we have defined earlier, that is angular frequency omega c and uh, of your carrier and angular frequency of your message signal as wm. So we are directly writing it as s of t is equals to ac into cos of omega c into t plus beta into sine of omega m into t. And we are plotting that one in the third row. That is here, we are going to plot uh, your 
uh, frequency modulated wave and plotting which signal means you are modulating frequency modulating signal that is t comma s of t and the title what we are given here is the modulating signal so it will display the signal along with uh, the name modulating signal in the third row of this matrix now the last is nothing but once the frequency modulation is done at the receiving end we need to demodulate the signal so for demodulation process uh, so we can also directly take uh, like the modulating signal along with your carrier signal but uh, I'm using here a predefined function that is called as demod. So demod is a predefined function which is going to demodulate the modulated signal. So demodulation of which signal that is a modulated signal which is having a carrier frequency fc and a sampling frequency of fs and here this fm represents that we are doing a frequency modulation. So demodulation of your modulated signal, that is we are doing the frequency modulation and that we are going to plot it in four comma one comma four. So this is, oh, sorry, this is where we are going to get your demodulating signal and plot T comma D, it will plot your demodulating signal and with the title uh, demodulated signal. So with this, uh, we are able to first generate, we have declared all the parameters and generated a message signal. Next, we have generated a carrier signal. And third, we have generated the frequency modulated signal. And finally, we did the demodulation of your uh, signal. Now, let us proceed. Uh, uh, how we can execute the same program uh, using the... So, this is the window uh, which I have opened uh, to run your program. So already uh, the program I have, uh, whatever I have explained, I have copied into a notepad. So where we have defined all the parameters and uh, later on we have defined what is your uh, message signal and what is the carrier signal and uh, the frequency modulated wave and uh, your uh, demodulation of your frequency modulator. Now we'll execute this program. So, so save the program. Here, exp seven. So I'm going to save the program. And uh, now, if you have any errors, uh, when you run, when you press run, if you have any errors, it will show the errors. If not, uh, directly it will display uh, the output. So this is the output what we have uh, got. So in this output, you can see, the first one, what we have given as your modulating signal, which is having a 35 hertz frequency. And second one, a carrier, which is of 500 hertz. And third one is your modulated wave, that is frequency modulator wave. So you can observe here, when your amplitude of your modulating signal is high, then your frequency is also high. And when the amplitude of your uh, message signal is low at the time, you can see that the frequency of your message signal is low. And coming to the demodulated signal, so you can see the demodulated signal is same as that of your modulating signal. So this is how uh, we are going to uh, <clears throat> execute the frequency modulation and demodulation using your MATLAB.